Hey everybody, it's Dr. Jono from Gluck Orthodontics in Nashville, Tennessee, and we are back with another edition of Ask Dr. Gluck. Today's question comes from Jenny Jacobs in Nashville, Tennessee. Hey Dr. Jono, long time listener, first time caller. So I've been talking to a lot of my friends about whitening my teeth, and it seems like my iPhone's been listening to me. I've got Rob Gronkowski and Snow Teeth Whitening popping up all over my Instagram ads. Now, I know my dentist also does it in her office as well. Ugh, there's just so many options and I'm so confused. Do you have any suggestions? Wow, thanks Jenny. What a fantastic question and thanks so much for your support of the program. Tooth whitening is a really awesome topic. Let's get into it. Okay, let's get into it. So the first thing I wanna say is before you decide to whiten your teeth, is you should have a conversation with your dentist to find out if this is something that is safe for you. And by that I mean you need to be examined to make sure you don't have any cavities, you don't have gum disease, there's no exposed roots, and all of that is to make sure that it's safe for you to whiten your teeth, that it will be effective and will not cause any problems. So there's always some risks involved with dental procedures and tooth whitening is one of them. And you wanna make sure that you've been examined and that your doctor believes it is safe for you to proceed. And when you go to your dentist and have a conversation with them, first off, they're gonna know the specific risks and things to look for. They are most likely basing their information on things that have been gathered by the ADA, the American Dental Association, who's looked at tooth whitening products, who's understood and done research on what are the risks involved. Most likely they're gonna be looking at something like this, which is a white paper put together by the American Dental Association specifically about whitening. They've also put out a patient bulletin, something like this, which says this is actually directed exactly at patients. We'll provide you more information. And again, the idea is tooth whitening is a dental procedure. You should have it checked out by your dentist. Make sure it's something safe for you before you get started. Okay, let's talk about whitening procedures that are gonna be done at the dentist's office or directed by your dentist. So there are things like Zoom or Core or in-office whitening procedures. You're gonna to go to the dentist's office. They will likely clean your teeth, isolate them with that cheek retractor thing. They'll put some gel around the gums to make sure that they're safe. And then they'll likely apply a high strength hydrogen peroxide gel to the teeth, sometimes combined with an activator light and that's gonna give you the best result in the shortest period of time. So you can go in and then come out expecting to have several shades whiter teeth in as short as, I don't know, 30 minutes, an hour, something like that. Now, another option is gonna be having your dentist make something called a whitening tray. And so that would kind of look something like this. Let me see if this will zoom in. And it's gonna be a custom, usually, flexible whitening tray and the doctor will combine it with usually a syringe of whitening gel something like this that's going to be prescription strength hydrogen peroxide tooth whitening gel which is going to go in the tray they'll make you this these are customized based on either mold or a digital impression of your teeth you'll take this home and you'll apply the gel into the tray for 20 30 minutes 45 minutes a day Base that out over a couple of weeks until you get to the desired result. And again, the nice thing about this is that it's all gonna be overseen by your dentist. So if you have questions, if you have concerns, if you have um, sensitive teeth or something, there's always gonna be a resource for you to reach out to and say, hey, you know, this is what's going on. Can you help me? Should I increase? Should I dial it back? And it's all gonna be very customized and overseen by the dentist. Let's talk about some at-home whitening treatments. And we'll start with the most simple, which would be something like a whitening toothpaste. So this is Colgate Optic White. It says whiter teeth in one week. What I wanna show you first is that this is actually what they call an anti-cavity fluoride toothpaste. And the active ingredient or the number one ingredient is gonna be a fluoride, which is to protect against cavities. Now, you ask yourself, what is in this toothpaste that actually whitens the teeth? So there are two things. Number one is abrasives. And so there's something in the toothpaste which is going to help remove surface stain from the teeth to whiten them. The second thing is it's gonna have hydrogen peroxide, which we talked about before, is gonna help whiten the teeth as well. Now, you probably can't expect to get too much whitening with this compared to 
a gel treatment or a dentist treatment, you probably will get some. That said, this is a good place to start, very low risk, something you can do at home, buy a tube of this and just see where you get. So next up we'll have something like Crest White Strips. These are going to be strips with a gel containing hydrogen peroxide. You'll apply them over the teeth, leave them for about 30 minutes plus or minus depending on whether or not you have some sensitivity, and then remove them, clean your teeth off, and there's usually, uh, let's see, how many are in here? 20 treatments, so 40 in here, 20 top, 20 bottom, you know, about two or three weeks, and then hopefully you'll get a couple shades wider at the end. Now, a couple things about these. Number one, you have to be very careful to keep the gel off of your gums. The peroxide gel on your gums can irritate them. The second thing is the concentration of peroxide in a product like this is usually gonna be less than what you would get with a customized dental bleaching tray or an in-office dental bleaching thing. So as we said before, something you would get at your dentist is gonna be the fastest and most effective way to get a wider smile as quickly as possible. Whereas something like this may not give you that same profound change and it may take a little bit longer. Now we'll talk about an at-home gel style treatment. So pick this one up on Amazon, Cali White, very interesting name. Um, what you can see is that this one actually contains, where are we, a 35% peroxide gel concentration, which is gonna be similar to what you would get through an in-office whitening like at the dentist. And so this product contains a couple of different trays so not exactly customized do the best you can to get this to fit over your teeth it's going to have one or maybe two of the gels with the solution and then this thing which has this funky blue light hopefully to activate the gel and get it to whiten your teeth faster so the nice thing about this is you're going to get a higher strength higher concentration gel which will provide a whiter result to your teeth faster um, that said, it also will likely increase the tendency for you to have sensitivity if you are going to develop that. And if you look at the difference of the tray, you'll have something like this, let's see, which is basically a one size fits all versus something like this, which is going to be a customized tray that's going to fit perfectly over your teeth. Something like this is made at your dentist's office. All right, so last we'll talk about the kind of non-traditional tooth whitening techniques, something like brushing with activated charcoal powder, oil pulling, baking soda, something like that. So none of those are gonna have the same kind of research-based evidence that things like an in-office uh, dental-based procedure are gonna have. All of these are gonna be anecdotal things that you kind of read online. So I would say proceed with caution. Don't necessarily set your expectations very high that you're gonna have the same level of tooth whitening result that you would with an in-office procedure or a high concentration at-home gel procedure. So let's talk about the two main issues that people experience with tooth whitening. The first one would be tooth sensitivity. So getting those zingers on your teeth, it can be very painful. That usually comes from using a high concentration gel or using a gel on your teeth for too long. And so what I tell patients if they're interested in whitening, number one, 
ask your dentist. They are gonna be able to give you the best expectations and the best prescription for how much you should do and how quickly. Um, if anything, the advice should be start slow and then ramp up from there um, rather than go all in because the last thing you want is to have extremely sensitive and whole, sometimes painful teeth from doing too much too quickly. Now, the other issue that people run into is irritation of the gums from the gel solution. So that's why I usually recommend that people go see their dentist to have an in-office procedure because the proper precautions will be taken to make sure that there are no issues with gum irritation. That's why I also like a kind of customized tooth tray as opposed to a one size fits all. This is gonna be built specifically for you to make sure that you can prevent any irritation of the gums by a high strength peroxide gel. Another thing to take into consideration is that tooth whitening will not affect bonding, veneers, or crowns. So if you have a front tooth that has one of those things on it, you have to be very careful that you pay attention to the shade of that compared to the other teeth. Another reason why it's important to talk to your dentist before you do something like this to make sure you don't have any unwanted results. That's it, I hope this was informative. The take home message is tooth whitening can be a great procedure, very predictable, but make sure you talk to your dentist before you do something like that. Help them help you choose the best option that's gonna give you the best result based on what your teeth look like, what your gums look like so that you're happy and you don't have any issues. If you have any questions, send us an email, askdrgluck at gmail.com. Send us a message, find us on Facebook, we're on Instagram, at Gluck Orthodontics. Plenty of information on our YouTube page. Peace.